double barrel shotgun, 28 inch length. Now if this was mine, I would have left it this length. It's got a really good balance to it, just a beautiful old double barrel. And uh, I would keep it exactly the way it is, but a good friend of mine wants me to shorten it to legal length. Uh, he wants to use it more as a home defense type of gun, so that's why I'm doing this. But if this was mine, I'd leave it just the way it is. I'd like it. Um, I like them so. too. But it's going to look good when we're done also. We'll clean it up, polish it up, and uh, polish up and sand down the stock and everything. Try to make it look brand new. Now I'm just going to even up the edges. It's pretty choppy. It looks like a good salami cut there. I wasn't too critical about it being perfect. I knew I was going to uh, file it down perfect anyway. No matter what, there's always finished work to do. So rather than taking forever to cut this, I figured I'd just whack it and then finish it up proper. We're at 18 and 3 eighths. Perfect. 18 and 3 eighths. More than 3 eighths. Maybe 7 sixteenths. Yep, we're at 18 and 7 sixteenths. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Look at that, perfect. perfect that is how you know it's perfect you tell me it's the bubble here no I'm not looking at the bubble really this is a straight edge oh uh, see mm -hmm. perfect, oh right? perfect yep if it wasn't perfect it would look like that okay like that oh got it so that's just it's a straight wow, edge wow there's no air, there's no space exactly perfect for. now we got a round file and I'm just going to bevel the inside of the edges for two reasons. Number one, because after you do any kind of cutting like this, there's going to be sharp edges. And uh, now this is a shotgun, so even if you didn't do this, after you fire the first few rounds, birdshot, buckshot, whatever, it's going to wind up knocking that smooth anyway. But the second reason why I do it is it just looks a lot nicer. It's more of a finished product when you bevel the ed that edge a little bit. That's uh, nice and smooth. Couldn't even cut your finger on that. Let's see. Let me test it. Yes. I have a very sensitive saw hand. <laughs> now when I'm using this file, I'm just being very light. I'm not pushing real hard because the idea is not to remove a lot of material. It's just to get that sharp edge off and give it a little bevel. So you, if you wind up doing this, you just want to barely just let the file do the work for you. Right now, 
He's going to use his famous stone to make it smooth. Is that the stone? No, no, I got a stone from inside. <laughs> this is first in the stone. sharp edges that could get caught on the holster or if you got it slung if you're carrying it across your back or whatever wherever it's going to be holstered or mounted to I'm going to eliminate all those rough edges Alright, so my video person had to take care of some business, so I just wanted to show you what I did to finish this off. As you can see, it looks really nice and clean. It's upside down. There's the top of it. I beveled everything, just a slight bevel. I didn't want to do it too much. But what I did, I got this sharpening stone here. No, it's cool. You know what? I can take care of it on my own. It's okay. Yeah, you, you left me to go hang out with Chris, so it's all good. So, not at all. That's, hey, I'm not complaining, right? You leave every morning to hang out with me. So, what I did is I went across the face with this one. This is an Arkansas, hard Arkansas stone, and went over everything with that. And then I use this. This is some old school stuff, man. India stone here, and I just went around the inside. Now the reason why I use the stones after the file is that's what gives it that really smooth appearance. You don't see any file marks, any uh, any marks from the metal cutting or anything. This is a western. See how smooth that is. To the western arms. Is that what that is? I'm not sure. I gotta take a look at it. They have the dog logo. <laughs> Oil, really? Yep. Wow. That's all the stain is oil. Oil? Uh. -huh. I'll be very thin. I'll throw some now, see? Mm hmm. Alright, so 
this is just a couple quick shots just to test fire it. Anytime I do any kind of work, of course, I, I just want to confirm the operation and make sure that everything is good. Um, we didn't mess with the action. There's no reason why it wouldn't function just the same as it did before. But, um, like I said, I made a modification, so I'm going to just double check. Good.